you are watching right now, I want you to make sure you be in expectation. Hmm. I want you to have faith in God that no matter the problem that is upon your life, that today that yoke must break. No matter what they have told you, wherever you are going for remedy, no matter how many years that problem may have been, I want you to please disbelieve whatever I've told you before. They may have told you your problem is incurable, it is impossible, that it's going to be for life. I'm assuring you today those terminal diseases, terminal cases, terminal problems, they shall be terminated today. And so wherever you are, believe the Lord for your miracle. I do not know how many years you have been in that problem, but I'm assuring you, as long as I am praying today in the name of the Lord Jesus, the beginning and the end, the Alpha and Omega, the ones that make impossibility to become possible, the one that the Bible has been already inscribed and made us to know is a specialist in miracle. Today, he will bring miracle in your life. And that in you, that mountain, that burden, shall be rolled away today in Jesus' name. And so wherever you ask, I'm going to pray for you. If you are watching me anywhere in the world, anywhere, just place your hand as I begin to pray. I just scream. If you are not walking, you are going to walk. If you are not seeing, you are going to see. If you are deaf or dumb, you are going to speak and hear. If you are condemned for life, as a result of any sickness that you could break today, you are going to live again in Jesus' name. I'm assuring you, all the barren people you will conceive. Those people that are looking for citizenship or purpose anywhere, God will give it to you. Those looking for work, God will give it to you. Today, as you listen to the prayers, believe it must surely come to pass. Your sorrow must return to joy. May God bless you as you key to this program today. May God bless you in Jesus' name. Abuja. So I was coming back from Abuja. So I passed this road. 
So I saw crowd coming out from this place. So I asked people what is going on there. They said it's Lord choosing. It's a church. I sat there in one of those church because I, I was tired of church. I was a choir member in Redeem, uh, Stone Winners, um, uh, in, in Festa Kike. So I said I'm tired of those churches because I was in the church. I was doing all those things. I was smoking. I was drinking. Before you be a, a Abuja connection, before you, you, you belong, you must take those things because you must be agile to follow those uh, uh, rugged men. So I drink, I smoke, I commit adultery. It shows everything was in my bag before. I was into atrocities. So that day, when I, uh, I entered this place, I got to order the auditorium. So I, when I sit down, the man of God was preaching. That's where they mentioned all I was doing. I said, uh, who told this man what I'm doing? So when I was going, I was wondering, say, uh, if it's someone that invited me choosing, honestly speaking, I would be the best and I would call police for that person. But it, I came alone, nobody invited me. So when I went home, I was wondering. So the following day, when I went to collect film, so what I was hearing, a voice, but I'm not seeing anybody. Repent or you die. Repent or you die. I say, hey, I've gone to only church, or this one a society church. Which one is to repent or you die? Repent or you die. So I have to come to choosing. From there, you can see me now. If you watch the magazine, you will see my useless life before. That thing you see there is a dead mopo. I supposed to give this testimony things. When I gave my life to Christ, it was tough. My husband and I burned all my goods because what I was selling, my boutique was uh, at Alabasuru, opposite computer college. So I burned the goods that were two point something million. I pack every week to go to my where I live, ask them. I use bus, I go there and pack all my goods because what I'm selling is gold, jewelry, cottage, uh, um, weave on, all these useless things. So I, when I had the preaching and my eyes was open, I saw that those things does not glorify God. And because I want to serve God in truth and spirit, I burn those things. So when I bought it, I resigned from my work. I did not do any business for one year. My husband now saw me as a mad woman. My dear brethren, it was tough. It was terrible. I was crying. Even I used to cry on the road. So one day I came to pastor. I came to him several. I said, pastor, this money again is too hard for you. That I, there is no peace in my house. That my husband is seeing me as a mad woman. So my pastor said, what oh God has joined together, let no man put us under. Go home. God who will change your life will change, will bring peace in your home. So I was facing this thing. But brethren, today, my husband is a born again. Father, yeah, Lord, peace in my home. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That is why I can come here to testify. If it's not a born again, as I'm testifying here, as I'm going down, the next is my village. But because he has given his life to Christ, he's not a real choosing. Thank this is you, somebody Lord. who said that the testimony choosing is a fake. That I used to ask him, but the pastor is preaching truth now. What is preaching in the Bible? He said that testimony is a fake. He shows they have collected my brain, that I'm not a mad woman. For that, he's not going there, so they will not collect his brain. But today, he has joined me. And he there is, is And there is peace at home. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So my advice to you guys, I was highly possessed. That's why I told them to put down my picture so that you live by example. If there are a woman here, like the uh, pastor used to say his own on Bible, but me, I am telling you through experience. When you put on those weapons, put on those cottages, put on those uh, uh, um, um, things, when you sleep in the night, you will be dreaming where you are swimming, where you are eating. That is when we will come to initiate you. And the another thing we used to go and initiate pastors. We used to go to churches to initiate pastors. And that was why my aim when I came to this church, to come and see how the man of God is. But this one, they hang off me here. So praise the Lord. <laughs> Thank you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise to you is that if you are using that, if you put it in your head, watch. When you sleep, they will come. You will be swimming in the dream. You will be eating in the dream. You will be um, sleeping with foreign men. Just... Um, a special husband, they will give you a husband. Before your husband will talk one, he will talk twenty. Like some men, they will go and bring some women from village. Immediately bring them from Lagos, and she happens to go to saloon. You see, the highest corruption in Nigeria is saloon and restaurant. Diapalo, saloon and diapalo. That is where they corrupt women. If women can avoid saloon and diapalo, they will, they will, they will take care of their husband. 
So those women, they wish, that's all this is to initiate you. So I thank God that I did it in my life today. And my prayer for my pastor, that no, no arrow will touch him. Amen. Every evil arrow that I get my pastor, anywhere they will gather for him from top or north or west, in the air, in the forest. I get my pastor, say, Holy God, fire. Nothing will happen to my pastor, and my pastor will make heaven in Jesus' name. Amen. And God's God use him to change a useless human being like me. I can now from water to heaven because at first I'm concerned I'm not going back. That place is darkness. Now this is light. Choosing, we are, cho- we are blessed. Amen. We are blessed because I've gone to many churches. No church is like choosing. Thank you, Lord. If you are choosing, you are a blessed child. So my God will bless you. As God did it in my life, He will do it in your life. Whatever may be your problem that makes you to come to choose it, just have patience. For sometimes God will surely do it. If God has not done it, He will surely do it. He did it in my family. There is proof of peace. There is His peace. message changes lives and brings salvation to sinners. Those who do not want to repent, hate Him and speak evil of Him and that of God of holiness and righteousness as it has been of old. Concerning our Lord Jesus Christ and the Apostles, Matthew chapter 5 verse 10, 12 and 2, 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 12. Listen, give your life to our Lord Jesus Christ and your life will change and you will be blessed. John chapter 3 verse 16, Luke chapter 9 verse 10, Romans chapter 13, John chapter 1 verse 12. God bless you. Is it all this miracle? Is all this healing? They belong to the people of God. And therefore, if you want to receive them and become, you know, a, a distributor of miracle, then you must become a child of God. I welcome you to this special program. As we pray right now, the Lord who my serve will bless you and all your desires will be granted. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, I present this, this congregation and all the viewers before you. Whatever may be the desires and need of each and every one, Father, I pray that you bless them. Father, I pray that you minister to everyone. I pray as your people listening to your word, grant them salvation, grant them deliverance. Let all their needs be granted in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for answering our prayers. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Genesis chapter 19. Genesis. Chapter 19. Let's read from verse 1. Genesis chapter 19, from verse 1. And there came two angels to Sodom at even. And Lord sat in the gate of Sodom. And Lord, seeing them, rose up to meet them. And he bowed himself with his face towards the ground. And he said, Behold, now, my Lord, turn in, I pray you, into your servant's house, and carry all night, and wash your feet. And you shall rise up early, and go on your ways, and they said, Nerve. But we will abide in the street all night. And he pressed upon them greatly, and they turned in unto him, and entered into his house. And he made them a feast, and they did bake unleavened bread, and did eat. But before they lay down, the men of the city, even the men of Sodom, compassed the house round, both old and young, all the people from every quarter. And they called unto the Lord and said unto him, Where are the men which came in to thee this night? Bring them out unto us, that we may know them. That is, that they may commit sin with them. Look at verse 6. And Lord went out at the door unto them and shut and shut 
the door after him and said, I pray you, brethren, do not so wickedly. Behold, now, I have two daughters which have not known man. Let me, I pray you, bring them out unto you and do to them as is good in your eyes only. Unto these men do nothing, for they are came there under the shadow of my roof. In that place, you can see that Lord even wanted to hand them his, his daughters so that instead of committing immorality, com committing homosexual with the angels of God. Now, look at verse 9. And they said, stand back as the angel this time. And they said again, this one fellow came, that is, the people now are still speaking, into sojourn, and he, and he will need be a judge. They're now talking about the angels. Now, will we be worse with thee than with them? And the prince saw upon the man, even Lord, and came near to break the door. But the men put forth their hands, that is the angels, and pulled Lord into the house to them and shut their door. And they smote the men that were at the door of the house with blindness. That was those people that were pressing to commit homosexual with them. Now, look at that place. And they smote the men that were at the door of the house with blindness, both small and red, so that they wearied themselves to find the door. And the men said unto the Lord, Has thou here any beside son-in-law and thy sons? and thy daughters. And whatsoever thou hast in this city, bring them out of this place. And verse 13, for we will destroy this place, because the cry of them is waxing great before the face of the Lord. And the Lord has sent us to destroy it. That was the message of the angels to Lord. We have come we have known the activities. God has sent us for that purpose. That these men have gone into ecstasy of evil. They have gone into homosexual, into sodomite. And as a result, God is angry and has sent us to destroy it. Now, if you look at this place in the Bible, in Nahum chapter 1, from verse 1, it says, The burden of Nineveh, the book of the visions on Nehum, the Ekoshite. God is jealous, and the Lord revenges, and the Lord revenges, and is furious. The Lord will take vengeance on his adversaries, and is not wrath for his enemies. The Lord is slow to anger and great in power, and will not at all acquit the wicked. The Lord had his way in the white wind, in the storm, and in the clouds, and the dust of his feet. He rebuked the sea, and made it dry, and dried up all the rivers, Bachan languished, and Kameh, and the flowers of Lebanon languished. The mountains quake at him, and the heat met, and the earth is born at his presence. Yea, the world, and not that the world therein persists. Who can stand before his indignation? And who can abide in the fierceness of his anger? His fury is poured out like fire, and the rocks are thrown down by him. Look at Matthew 24, from verse 1. And Jesus went up and departed from the temple. And his disciples came to him for to show him the buildings of the temple. And Jesus said unto them, See not all these things. For I say unto you, there shall not be left here one stone upon another 
that shall not be thrown down. And as he sat upon the mount of olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming? And of the end of the world. Verse 4. And Jesus answered and said unto, unto them, Take heed, and no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Now, look at verse 7. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines, and pestilences, and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Now, from these chapters and verses, I'm bringing to you the topic, warning. God will destroy humanity again. I say, it is a warning. God will destroy humanity again. I want you to take note and put it down and mark it. The warning is that God will destroy humanity again. Our Father in heaven, the Almighty God, the Creator of the heaven and earth, and everything inside them, whether in heaven or earth, even beneath the earth, is the Creator. Psalm 24, verse 1 says, The earth is the Lord, and the fullness thereof, the world, and they that dwell Diary. So you can see, he's the owner of the earth, of things in heaven, on earth, beneath the earth. God is the creator of all things. In fact, if you look at Genesis chapter 1, I read verse 1. Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. 